Good evening, distinguished guests, colleagues, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. A very, very warm welcome to all of you to the International Hospitals Federation Awards 2021 ceremony. Welcome to Barcelona and to this auditorium for all of you that are enjoying this celebration face to face. But of course, thank you to all those who are joining us virtually. Uh, depending on when you are based, good morning or good afternoon or good evening. I'm sure that this is the moment that you've all been eagerly waiting for. The announcement of the winners of the prestigious IHF's Awards 2021. But before and to formally start this program, let me please welcome Dr. Risto Mietunen, International Hospitals Federation President. Very warm applause, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And wow, it's very impressive to see so many of you here. This is really my favorite, the true fun part in addition to everything else we do here. And, and uh, we are going to uh, have excellent entries. And, and uh, let me just tell you, that this has been really an experience. The, the International Hospital Federation Awards uh, is now in its sixth year. And this year, I'm proud to say that we have attracted over 250 excellent entries from 38 countries and territories. This is the highest number ever since the awards began. I think this is so impressive. Thank you for joining us tonight as we celebrate and recognize healthcare organizations around the world for having demonstrated excellence, innovations, best practices, and outstanding achievements in the programs and projects they have developed and implemented. With so many entries received, choosing the winners has been such a challenge. Thanks to the commendable effort and dedication of all our judges, you will hear about them later on, we have selected 50 top entries which have proven to have significantly improved healthcare and service delivery. Please join me in congratulating the winners of this year's awards and welcome to the ceremony. Thank you very much, Dr. Mitunin. May, may I ask you to stay here on the stage with me just for the honors uh, of the winners? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, we'd like to take this opportunity to say thanks to the members of the IEJF uh, 2021 Awards Committee. This year's award, awards uh, will certainly not be as successful without all of their commitment and contribution. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the Awards Committee. Well, for their hard work and dedication to carefully evaluating the entries for the IHF Awards this year, let us give them a, a big, big round of applause to all of them. Well, the committee is led by Dr. Lawrence Lai, IHF honorary member, uh, who unfortunately uh, cannot be here with us tonight in person. However, uh, he's joining us virtually, and he would like to greet all of you. Good evening, distinguished delegates, guests, and friends. On behalf of the awards committee, I would like to thank you all for joining us in person or virtually in this year's award ceremony at the World Hospital Congress in Barcelona. 
With so many excellent award entries in these challenging times, it was indeed very difficult to select the winners. As chairman of the committee, I'm truly honored and delighted to be given the opportunity to review and learn from so many excellent submissions this year. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my heartfelt thanks to my fellow judges who took time and great effort to meticulously review the record number of entries and select the winners this year. Finally, I wish to congratulate all the awards winners this year for working hard and successfully in your exemplary projects, services and programs, especially when the COVID-19 pandemic is still raging. I sincerely hope that you, you will continue with your outstanding work for the benefit of your patients, community and country, and become role models for the rest of the world to emulate. May I end by thanking you all once again and hoping to see you in person in the next World Hospital Congress in Dubai in 2022. Thank you. For sure, we hope so. Thank you so much, Dr. Lei. Now, are you excited to know who are the winners this year? I guess so. All right, so let's start announcing the winners of the American College of Healthcare Executive Excellence Award for Leadership and Management. This award recognizes uh, excellence or outstanding achievements in strong leadership and management in leading a hospital or health service provider. We'd like to thank the American College of Healthcare Executive for sponsoring this category. I would like to call here on stage, please, Deborah Bowen, President and CEO at the American College of Healthcare Executive, and Carrie Owen, President Northern California at Kaiser Foundation Health Plan. A big applause, please. Good evening, distinguished guests. It's really wonderful to be here with you tonight. ACHE is so very, very proud to be a sponsor uh, in this award, and obviously to share with IHF the commitment to advance leaders, both men and women, in healthcare management. The award winners are exceptional. I've seen them. Congratulations in advance to all of you. The things you're doing are marvelous in governance and culture and all the things that really leaders do to drive positive outcomes for patients. So again, I'm very proud to be here. This is my boss. Her name is Carrie Owen and she is the chair of the ACHE, and it's quite special that she is with us in person tonight in Barcelona. So let me welcome her to say a few words. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. Um, leadership in healthcare is extremely difficult and always has been. You have to have a passion and a heart to take care of individuals. Uh, and so we're called for a higher purpose. And I cannot imagine a more difficult time in the world than what we've gone through the past 20 months. We're most in a, in a battle or a, a, a war. Um, you know, we're, we're there in healthcare to take care of those who are injured. And in this battle, we were on the front lines. For the leaders, congratulations for what you have done, what you've achieved, and what in your global support for our amazing nurses, our amazing physicians, clinicians, all who have been on the front lines. For those leaders that we're awarding tonight, you're above and beyond. Congratulations on what you have achieved and what you will achieve in the future. Congratulations tonight. Thank you very much, Carrie and Deborah. I would like to, Dr. Mituni, Mituni, if you can just come here, <laughs> because we will start uh, handing out the awards. Well, let us begin announcing the honorable mentions for the American College of Healthcare Executive Excellence Award for Leadership in Management. Our honorable mentions include Dr. L. H. Hiranadi Hospital from India. 
Cho Ray Hospital from Vietnam. Multidisciplinary Simulation and Skill Center, Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Hospital Authority from Hong Kong, and North World Health from the United States. Let us give them this warm round of applause. And uh, another organization winning this uh, honorable mention uh, for their project, Optimizing Patient Journey in OPD Setting, Patient-Centric Flow, is Dubai Health Authority. Please may we call on stage His Excellency Awad Segader Al Ketbi, Director General of the Dubai Health Authority, to receive the award. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's continue. And winning the bronze award for the project newborn screening program is who will be? <laughs> Emirates Health Services. Please may we call on stage His Excellency Dr. Youssef Mohammad Al Serkal. Assistant Under Secretary for Hospital Sector, the Ministry of Health and Prevention, and Director General of Emirates Health Services. And on the other hand, Dr. Kalhum Al Blushi, Hospitals Department Director of Emirates Health Services. Thank you, thank you very much and congratulations. If you can go just to your left side, please. Thank you. Okay, for this category we have another bronze awardee. Winning for the project establishment of a new hospital together with the Center for Robotic Surgery and New Technologies is Neo Hospital. Please let me ask his presence here on stage to Professor Tomas Rogala. Clinical Director to receive the award here on the stage. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you. After this family photo and winning the silver award for the project Integrated Healthcare Model in Mutua Terrassa during the COVID-19 pandemic is Mutua Terrassa Healthcare Foundation. May we call on stage Teresa Moore Martin, family doctor and care coordinator of the Mutua Terrassa Care Foundation. Thank you very much and congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And now, bringing home the Gold Award for the American College of Healthcare Executive Excellence Award for Leadership and Management for the project Rapid Resilience Screening Framework is Dubai Health Authority. <laughs> May we call back here on stage His Excellency Awad Sehayer at Kedbi, Director General of the Dubai Health Authority to receive this award. <laughs> Congratulations and thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Al Khabib, you can come here just for your short speech. <laughs> The audience is yours right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for uh, catching me by surprise to uh, say a few words. Uh, thank you for bringing me to stage when uh, I'm not exactly ready. 
Thank you to my team. They made it. I've been in the position for the last 10, 11 months, so it's not me. It's them. <laughs> it's Dr. Mona. It's the team back home in Dubai. They have made it, and I'm proud to be part of them. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you. Well, again, congratulations to all the winners in, uh, of the American College of Healthcare Executive Excellence Award for Leadership in Management. Our next award recognizes excellence or outstanding achievements in promoting quality and patient safety. The OSCO Excellence Award for Quality and Patient Safety. We'd like to thank OSCO for sponsoring this category, and I would like to call on stage Mr. Dave Webb, General Manager, OSCO, Marketing and Service. Just a thank you, and very welcome. And the audience is, is yours. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so my name's Dave Webb. I'm the General Manager for OSCO in Europe. Uh, I'd like to thank the IHF for asking me along today to present this award, uh, but also to congratulate the winners of the award for their tremendous achievements. Quality and patient safety is what the award is about, and that's at the heart of what OSCO produce and what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's therefore a tremendous honour and a great privilege to be presenting this award here today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Webb. If you can remain here on the stage with Dr. Mitsunin. And I would like to, I will uh, also like to invite Professor Carlos Alves Pereira, uh, President of the Portuguese Association for Hospital Development. Professor Carlos was among the judging panel who evaluated the entries for the OSCO Excellence Award for Quality and Patient Safety category. So thank you very much to join us here on stage. Thank you. And let us begin announcing uh, the honorable mentions for this category. Our honorable mentions who are joining us virtually uh, include Cho Ray Hospital from Vietnam, <laughs> Department of Medical Education of Taipei Veteran General Hospital from Taiwan, Mediclinic Middle East from United Arab Emirates, and Multidisciplinary Simulation and Skills Center, Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Hospital Authority from Hong Kong. A big applause for all of them. And uh, another organization winning this honorable mention for the project Home-Based Care in COVID Management, Telemonitoring Using Self-Reporting and Health Professional Surveillance is Centro Hospitalario Universitario do Porto. May we call here on stage Rita Moreira, member of the executive board of Centro Hospitalar Universitario do Porto. Thank you very much. Obrigada. <laughs> this, this way. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Well, winning the bronze award for the project 
Patient Safety Index Programme, an innovative methodology to monitor and evaluate patient safety practices, is Saudi German Hospital Ridia. May we call on here on stage Dr. Amir Rizwan, Group QPS Director, and Dr. Mustafa Galwash, Group Chief Quality Officer. Thank you. Thank you very much and congratulations, Mr. Rizwan. And we have another, another bronze awardee for the project Autism General Hospital Tertiary Unit, serving the unserved, empowering the family and using mechanical contention zero. And is Hospital Universitari Mutua Terrassa. May we call on stage Dr. Amaya Ervas Zuniga, Head of the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service. Congratulations, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And now, winning the silver award for the project Learning Through the Cycle of Improvement, a comprehensive approach to surgical site inspection prevention in post-cardiac surgery for patients is Royal Hospital. May we call on stage Dr. Saif Al Shahi, pediatric post-cardiac intensive care physician and chair of quality and patient safety for the National Heart Center at Royal Hospital. Congratulations. And now, winning the Gold Award for the OSCO Excellence Award for Quality and Patient Safety for the project Automated Early Warning System for Adults at Risk for In-Hospital Clinical Deterioration Advanced Alert Monitor is Kaiser Permanente Northern California. Let's give a big hand to carry out and please Regional President Northern California at Kaiser Foundation Health Plan in the United States. Congratulations and thank you. Of course, would you like to? <laughs> thank you. So I think the first gold medal uh, award win winner said this. Um, it has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with those uh, beautiful, wonderful, compassionate, excellent experts who are on the front line, who through the 20 months of the pandemic also said we're gonna improve care above and beyond what we did before the pandemic. So Robin, team, for those who are watching back in the States, congratulations, it's all for you. Thank you, and congratulations to all also excellent award for quality and patient safety. Thank you. For patients hospitalized outside intensive care units, sudden acute deterioration is often a precursor to severe illness and death. What if we could identify at-risk patients with enough time to prevent sudden decline and steer the course of their care back to health? For more than a decade, Kaiser Permanente, the United States' only integrated healthcare system, has worked to develop a defense. Combining predictive analyses with both virtual and on-site support, our Advanced Alert Monitor program identifies patients at risk, giving healthcare teams a 12-hour lead time to respond, and patients a fighting chance. This program lowers rates of mortality, intensive care admissions, hospital stays, and rehospitalization by enhancing patient safety and outcomes, both in hospital and long after discharge. We are proud of Kaiser Permanente's advancements in care delivery and will continue working to ensure our hospitals are among the safest in the world. Congratulations to all the winners for the OSCO Excellence Award. Now our Next category is, is new this year, the Ashikaga Nikonex Excellence Award for Green Hospitals, honoring hospitals and healthcare organizations promoting sustainable and eco-friendly initiatives. We'd like to thank our category sponsor, the Japanese Red Cross Ashikaga Hospital and Nikken Group. 
also joining us virtually, who would like to give us a message is Vice President of Japan Hospital Association, President of the Asian Hospital Federation, and Emeritus Director of the Japanese Red Cross at Chicago Hospital, Dr. Satoru Komatsumoto. I am Satoru Komatsumoto. We would like to congratulate the award wing facilities and related parties in the Ashka Nikkei Award Green Hospital category at IHF. Many countries around the world taking on the challenge realizing a carbon-free society toward 2025, led by the COP conference at all. Not a few countries, organizations and companies investing heavily in renewable energy use and working to reduce CO2 all over the world. The award-winning people and the facilities were praised for their pioneering effort on this occasion. Ashka Red Cross Hospital built an environmentally eco-friendly hospital with Nikkei Seke in 2011, which is for the arts and humanity. This new eco-hospital is a next-generation green hospital that has achieved significant CO2 reduction by utilizing renewable energy, such as water, light, wind, and green. Ashka Red Cross Hospital received highest award as a green hospital from the IHF team at Haag, Netherlands in 2016 and from IHF in Oman in 2019. We hope that as many hospitals as possible will work to create eco-friendly hospitals in future. Congratulations to all the award winners. Thank you very much, Dr. Komatsumoto. Now I'd like to request his presence here on stage to Dr. Adelvanio Morato, President of the Brazilian Hospitals Federation, IHF uh, member, to, to join Dr. Mitunen here on stage. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's start with the first honorable mention uh, for the project Conserve Energy for Green Earth and is uh, Apollo Hospitals Chennai. Please, may we request Professor Anupam Sival, Group Medical Director, Apollo Hospitals Group. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. Our next honorable mention uh, for, your, for the project Energetic and Ecological Transition in Hospitals is Consorci Sanitari de l'Alt Penedès i Garraf. Let's call on here on stage Marta Terrones Urpí, Chief of Infrastructure and General Service Area. Welcome, if you can come up to receive the award. Well, you are not Marta, but anyway, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Congratulations to Consorci Sanitari de l'Alt Penedès i Garraf. Thank you. Let's continue with another honorable mention for the project. Climate manager in the nursing workforce is Evan Evangelicious Krankenhaus Ubertus. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they cannot join us here physically, but congratulations. Another honorable mention for this category, for the project Baglaum, showing the seeds of hope for transformation and wellness, is Manila Doctors Hospital. Let's call on Dr. Josefina Dolores Cano, Vice President for Administrative Directorate, to receive the award.
Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, next honorable mentions. Um, winning for their project operational excellence, sustainability, innovation, and utility reduction is Ontario Shore Center for Mental Health Science. Let's call on Doris Foster, Director of Support Services, to receive this award. Thank you very much. Time to go ahead with bronze award. So, for the project, Transformational Sustainability Process in a Children's Hospital for Chronic Diseases is Faclinic Guy Sash. May we call on here Professor Edda Wyman, Medical Director. Congratulations. Winning the Silver Award for the project Mullet Barcelona University Hospital, more than 10 years of strategic commitment to a green culture. The Silver Award goes to Fundació Sanitaria Mullet. May we call on Dr. Jaume Duran, CEO of Fundació Sanitaria Mullet. Congratulations, Dr. Duran. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, and congratulations. And now, bringing home the gold award for the Ashikaga Nikon Excellence Award for Green Hospitals and for the project A Healthier World Through a Sustainable Environment is University Health Network. Let's call on stage Ed Rubinstein, Director of Energy and Environment. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Dr. Rubinstein, after this family photo, now the audience is yours. <laughs> Gracias, thank you. So I'm not a doctor, but I'm still thrilled to be here. And during this extraordinary time for health and healthcare, I am in awe of my colleagues at the University Health Network, who not only continue to provide the best patient care possible, but supported the work of our hospital's energy and environment team, my team, to reduce the hospital's impact on the environment. So on behalf of the energy and environment team, to all those who support us, thank you. And on behalf of the University Health Network, thank you to the IHF for recognizing our efforts with this award. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. At University Health Network, UHN, we know climate change is a major threat to health. That's why UHN, led by our energy and environment team, is creating a healthier world through a sustainable environment. Located in Toronto, Canada, UHN is made up of four major hospital sites and one school of applied health sciences. Hundreds of green projects have reduced utility costs and greenhouse gas emissions. Some projects are large in scale, like using water from Lake Ontario to provide cooling for hospitals. Some projects are small with big impact, like eliminating straws from all patient meals and using reusable dishware, customizing surgical packs in the operating room so they only include what's needed, and wrapping sterile equipment in cloth that gets repurposed, installing electric vehicle charging stations, creating hundreds of bike parking spots, building a wheelchair accessible community garden, and countless recycling programs. None of this would be possible without buy-in from UHN staff. When we all pitch in, a strong culture of sustainability is possible. Congratulations to all the winners of the Ashikaga Nikon Excellent Awards for Green Hospitals. Now our next category is the Sediki Holding Excellence Award for Corporate Social Responsibility. Uh, recognizing excellence or outstanding achievements in advancing corporate social responsibility. We'd like to thank Sediki uh, Holding for graciously sponsoring this category. And on behalf of Sediki Holding, I would like to call on stage 
Dr. Muna Talak, uh, consultant OBGYN and CEO at Latifa Women and Children Hospital, Dubai Health Authority, United Arab Emirates, and IHF President Designate. Thank you very much and welcome on stage. Your Excellency, um, uh, Awad al Kitbi, Director General for DHA, Your Excellency, Dr. Uh, Yusuf al Sarkal, Under Secretary and uh, Director for Hospital Sector, distinguished guests. On behalf of the um, Siddiqui Holding, uh, I would like to say that this is an award um, for the hardworking uh, people in the health sector. Social, um, corporate social responsibility is a global direction, and this is a very small gift from the holding to appreciate all the efforts that people have done during this pandemic. So congratulations to the winners, and uh, well done to all participants, and uh, thank you for everything. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. Talak. You don't mind remaining here with Dr. Mitsunin? Because we will start with the honorable mentions for this category. Uh, the ones who are joining uh, us virtually are Mariano Marcos, Memorial Hospital and Medical Center. And Democrito Plaza Memorial Hospital. A big round of applause. And let's continue with an, another honorable mention, uh, winning for the project Movement and Balance uh, held in the city, and is Asclepos Arts Clinic Goslar. May we call on stage Beata Boronsik, project head. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to Arts Clinic Goslar. Our next honorable mention, winning for the project Emirates Community Physiatry Program is Emirates Health Services. May we call on stage His Excellency Youssef Mohammad al Sirkal, Assistant Under Secretary for Hospital Sector, the Ministry of Health and Prevention and Director General of Emirates Health Services. Dr. Kalthum Al-Bushi, Hospitals Department Director of Emirates Health Services. And thank you to all of you to receive the award <laughs> on Emirates Health Service name. Congratulations. Next honorable mention, winning for their project Malasakit Center, Compassion Through Linking Patients and the Government is Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center. <laughs> May we come on stage, Dr. Gerardo Aquino Jr. and Mr. Pierre Jabajat. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, winning the bronze award for the project Miles Miles Vietnam Project is Eda Hospital. <laughs> Colleagues from Eda Hospital are joining us virtually, so again, congratulations. Also joining us virtually, winning the silver award for their Stayin' and Dilly and Stayin' in project is St. Vincent's Health Network, Sydney. Let's give them this big round of applause and congratulations. And now, let's move on to the gold award for the Siddiqui Holding Excellence Awards for Corporate Social Responsibility and for the project, Share the Gift of Vision 
advancing the right to sight and ensuring quality of life is Manila Doctors Hospital and GT Foundation. Welcome on stage, Jill Alvarez, Head Corporate Social Responsibility Office. Congratulations. Let's make a family photo. You are receiving the award. And now the floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Um, this is actually for all the volunteer doctors, nurses, uh, volunteer pharmacists, and allied medical professionals who would give their time, their skills, so that we can continue with this program for the past 20 years and all the external partners who share the resources. Thank you so much. This is for them. Thank you and congratulations. Share the gift of vision of the Manila doctors has been going on for 20 years, improving the lives of many who are underprivileged, improving their worth in the community, and improve the whole community as well. We intend to continue with this project and provide more surgeries for these patients who are in need. Thank you very much for this award. It's a great pleasure. 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 It's a great
and thank you, thank you very much. Our next honorable mention is Amiri Medical Complex. On behalf of Dr. Mirwais Amiri, CEO of Amiri Medical Complex, may we call on stage Sahra Sahibi to receive these awards. Welcome to the stage and thank you. Thank you very much, congratulations. Let's move on with the bronze award. And uh, the winner for the project, Project Kavak, Reinventing Patient Safety in a Post-COVID World is Apollo Hospitals Enterprise Limited. They will request Professor Anupam Sival, Group Medical Director at Apollo Hospital Group. Welcome, congratulations. Thank you very much, congratulations. Thank you. And winning the silver award for the project Q Medland is Medland Health Services. May we call here on stage Dr. Mohamed El Sahili, Chief Vision Officer. Please, congratulations and thank you for being here on stage. Congratulations. And now, bringing home the gold award for the Sultanate of Oman Excellence Award for health services during crisis for the project. Reaching the unreached, harnessing technology for healthcare in Afghanistan is French Medical Institute for Mothers and Children. <laughs> Accepting the award on stage is Aziz Ahmanjan, Chief Executive Officer of FMIC. Congratulations. Would you like to dedicate some words to the audience? <laughs> uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a lot for Afghanistan in these difficult times. I'm proud of the entire healthcare team in Afghanistan and especially to our French Medical Institute for Mothers and Children, and thanks to Al Khan University for helping us to achieving this. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, and congratulations. French Medical Institute for Mother and Children has started the e-health facilities since 2006. And since then, we have covered over 45,000 consultations. We are linked internationally and nationally. We are linked with three regional hospitals in Afghanistan, with Kandahar Hospital, with Bamiyan Hospital, and with Faisabad. Then we are also linked with in Tajikistan uh, uh, Rogue Hospital. We are linked with Aga Khan University. We are linked in Paris. So this e-health initiative is giving us a lot of edges to provide, ensure access to care, to e-trainings, and also the e-management. So this is the lifeline for Afghanistan, and we hope that we will continue to provide this initiative to ensure. Uh, provision of healthcare facilities to the individuals as well as learning opportunities for healthcare workers in Afghanistan. Congratulations to all the winners of the Sultanate of Oman Excellence Award for Health Services During Crisis. Dr. Mitsunin, we have to go ahead with our final category, which recognize institutions that excel in several areas, including but not limited to quality and patient safety, corporate social responsibility, healthcare leadership and management practices, and supporting sustainability initiatives. Ladies and gentlemen, we present you the Dr. Kwang Tai Kim Grand Hospital Award. So I'd like to 
Thank you, Dr. Kwang Tai Kim, IHF Honorary Member, the man who made the IHF Awards possible. Dr. Kim is joining us virtually and he has prepared this message to all of us. Hello, IHF Congress in Barcelona 2021. Thank you to all the participating members and all the hospitals around the world for your submissions to the Kwang Tae Kim Grand Hospital Award. My dream since my start with IHF has been to see it grow bigger and stronger each year. We must continue to improve patient care and celebrate well-managed hospitals. A brighter future in the healthcare depends upon collaboration for the greater good of humanity. With this award, I hope we can open our doors to even more diverse hospitals so we can all learn from each other. I'd like to thank all of the sponsors and partners who have made this year's Congress possible. I hope next year we can have even more supporters to increase entries. Finally, congratulations to the winners of Kwang Tae Kim Grand Hospital Award. Please continue to serve as an example for other hospitals around the world. Thank you very much, Dr. Kim. Now I'd like to request his presence here on stage to Mr. Ronald Lavater, CEO of the International Hospital Federation, to join Dr. Mitsunin on stage, because now it's time to start with the first honorable mention for this category. And it goes to H Plus Yanghee Hospital. Let us call on Korean Hospital Association to receive the award. Thank you very much. H Plus Yanghee Hospital. Congratulations. Let's take a family photo. <laughs> Thank you. Our next honorable mention for the project creating a center of excellence for women's and newborn care is Cornish Hospital. May we call here on stage Jane Kelly, Director of Quality and President Safety to receive this award. <laughs> Thank you, congratulations. Congratulations to the Cornish Hospital. Let's take this photo. And thank you, thank you very much, congratulations. Our next uh, honorable mention for the project Kazakhstan Healthcare Leaders is Medicar Group. Let's give a big hand to Dr. Aigul Kulmuk Hemadova, Executive Director at Medicar International Hospital in Kazakhstan. Big applause and congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much and congratulations. Let's move on to our next honorable mention for the project Services Transformation, Crisis Response and Change Management Towards High Quality Precision Medicine is Onassis Cardiac Surgery Center. May we call on stage Konstantinos Petsios, Head of Research Unit. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes, just a second for the photo. <laughs> Thank you. Also, an honorable mention for the project adaptation of new premises of the University Hospital to needs of the specialist COVID-19 hospital during the COVID-19 pandemic is University Hospital of Krakow. May you call here on stage Professor Jaroslav Fedorowski, President of the Polish Hospital Federation, Welcome on stage and congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. 
Thank you. Okay, let's continue and winning the bronze awards for the project Tatak Soto Beyond Healthcare Service Excellence is Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center. Accepting their award are Dr. Gerardo Aquino and Ray Chris Panugaling. Well, thank you and congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center for this bronze award. Aye, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, winning the silver award and for the project Operational Development System and Cascading Communication is Spectrum Health. May we call here on stage Sonia Beute, Director of Spectrum Health West Michigan Strategic and Operational Development. Congratulations. Thank you. And now, time to, time to move on to the gold award for the Dr. Kwang Tai Kim Grand Hospital Award for the project. Egyptian National Accreditation Modeling Reference is Saudi German Hospital Cairo. To receive this award, let's call on stage Dr. Mohammad Ahmed Hablas, Regional Director of Saudi German Hospitals, Egypt and North Africa. Thank you. Thanks to all of you, members of the Saudi German Hospital Cairo. Congratulations. And now your turn. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, it's a big honor for me to be with you today. Thank you very much for the IHF and for the award today. I'd like to send big congratulations and also thanks to the Egyptian government and the General, uh, the, uh, General Healthcare Authority and Gahar Organization for the big reform uh, going on in healthcare in Egypt right now. And for sure, special thanks to Saudi German Health and Saudi German uh, 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 Cairo uh, for this big achievement and for the award today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you. At Saudi German Hospital Cairo, we strive to participate in developing the healthcare system in Egypt by providing top notch quality healthcare service. The General Authority of Healthcare Accreditation and Regulation, known as Gahar, is the first Egyptian authority responsible for issuing standards and implementing them. It ensures the provision of high quality health services in all different health facilities. As pioneers in the healthcare sector in Egypt, Saudi German Hospital Cairo was the first hospital in Egypt to cooperate with the Gahar by getting registered in May 2019. Following our registration, in December 2019, we hosted a quality symposium to share with the other healthcare providers and quality professionals our experience with the Gahar's registration process. In January 2020, we became the first hospital in Egypt to be accredited by Gahar. The new version of Gahar standards for hospitals were then assessed and evaluated through participation of our subject matter experts, as well as field testing in our hospital, was done as a step for Gahar to be accredited by the International Society for Quality in Healthcare, ISQA. Finally, we hosted a training on the accreditation standards for Gahar surveyors in March 2021. Today, 
More than 20 healthcare facilities have been either registered or accredited by Gahar in Egypt. We are proud of our contribution to support the achievement of Egypt's 2030 vision in healthcare. Saudi German Hospital Cairo is the Egyptian national accreditation modeling reference in Egypt. Again, congratulations to all the winners of the Dr. Kwang Tai Kim Grand Hospital Award and in general to all the winners tonight. A big, big applause to all of you. Now, let me give the award to Mr. Mietunin to congratulate everyone. Would you like to, do you prefer to stay here on, on stage? <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed the ceremony tonight. So what an event, what a contribution. This is really amazing. Thank you for that. So this evening, we have recognized hospitals and healthcare service providers who have shown outstanding and impressive progress and projects. I wish to congratulate everyone who has worked so hard on these award-winning projects. And let me remind you, in this competition, there are no losers. Everyone is a winner. So thank you for all, all the contributions. And let's give us all them a big round of applause. So tomorrow morning, <clears throat> there will be a chance uh, to listen to, to the winners. The Gold Award winners will be presenting their project in a special parallel session. We are inviting you to attend this session at 10 a.m. on room six to learn more about their projects and programs and, and why they stood out as, as best of the best from around the globe in, in health system innovation and excel excellence. The IHF awards re reinforces the core objective of the IHF, the knowledge sharing and sharing of ideas. Tonight, we're happy to present you a special publication available electronically, featuring the stories of all 50 winners, visit the IHF Awards website at the address www.worldhospitalcongress.org slash awards to read exceptional work happening in hospitals all over the world. All 50 will be there. Before closing this ceremony, I would like to again acknowledge and thank the sponsors of the IHF Awards. The American College of Healthcare Executives, OSTCO, Japanese Red Cross, Ashikaka Hospital and Nikon Group, Sediki Holding, Ministry of Health of the Sultanate of Oman, and of course, my old friend and colleague, Dr. Kwan Ta Kim, who couldn't be here tonight. Thank you for your generous support and for allowing this program to recognize outstanding hospitals and healthcare providers. Again, congratulations to our winners. Thank you, everyone, and have a great evening. Thank you, thank you very much, Dr. It's the ceremony. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Dr. Mintunin. Again, and as you said, congratulations to all the winners of this IHF Awards 2021, and enjoy your evening.